even pre-pandemic, if we can remember that far back, there was growing concern across the country that politicians in Washington were just too focused on other issues and not on the needs of American workers and their families. And as we know, globalization has led to great economic growth in the US, but these benefits have not been widely distributed as Donna alluded to. They have disproportionately helped those at the top, the largest companies and the wealthiest Americans and thereby increased economic inequality. And over the years, the US has also failed to adequately help workers whose jobs were displaced by advances in technology like automation or by offshoring and outsourcing. And then when the pandemic hit, it exacerbated this economic dislocation. We saw millions of Americans living precariously, losing jobs, relying on food banks to survive. And the suffering uh, was even more pronounced in black and Latino communities. So I think this whole situation really drove home the fact that a critical aspect of US national security is actually our economic security defined broadly, no longer just in terms of America's GDP or America's exports, but also I think defined by the level of economic insecurity that families across the country have been facing. So while fortunately the US is starting to recover, as Ian said, other countries are not, they're still sort of right in the eye of, of the pandemic, um, we need to be smart about how we rebuild. And we really do need to make those long overdue investments that can strengthen the middle class and strengthen our ability to compete and to win, whether it's infrastructure, both digital and hard, whether it's R&D, whether it's creating more green jobs and a greener economy, whether it's focusing on uh, STEM and other kinds of education and training that we really need, whether it's supply chain resiliency, a lot of things that need to come together so that we can work with trusted partners and not have to worry again about whether we'll have enough chips for our computers, enough PPE to protect our healthcare workers. So I think it's both logical and vital that our foreign policy is seeking to advance both our national security and our economic security by focusing more on helping American workers succeed.